In this video, I'm gonna answer the top 10 questions about Salesforce payments inside of Salesforce CPQ and billing. Well, it's no surprise that there are a lot of questions. Salesforce, it's a full-scale CRM platform with thousands of features to help you streamline your organization's operations. Understanding all of this, it takes time. My name is Micaiah, and I'm from Chargent, where we are dedicated to helping aspiring Salesforce payments experts like you be a superstar for your organization. We have made a special checklist just for you on the 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that out in the link below. Question number one, what is Salesforce CPQ and billing? Salesforce CPQ and billing, they're two products that make it easier for salespeople to send proposals and for operations to invoice and bill their customers. CPQ is an acronym for configure, price, and quote. Through CPQ, businesses can create quotes and orders more quickly and more accurately. So with this product, you can generate new quotes that'll take into consideration your business's customized rules. Now, they might be for things like pricing, discounts, add-on services, bundled products, and other challenging tasks related to getting your customers the pricing configurations that they need. And by automating the quoting orders and pricing processes, businesses can save time while reducing human error. Salesforce billing serves a different purpose. It's an add-on package to Salesforce CPQ that enables the seamless flow of essential data from your CPQ records to automate invoices, payment, and RevRec. Uh, question number two, can you invoice through Salesforce? Yes, businesses can create and send both manual and automated invoices directly through Salesforce billing. This solution allows you to send one-time invoices or use an invoice scheduler to create future invoices. Salesforce's invoice displays a list of the products and services offered along with the total order amount. Furthermore, Salesforce allows you to customize numerous fields to serve your customers better. Question number three, can Salesforce process payments? Well, yes. Salesforce Billing does support four different payment gateways that they can process credit cards with. So payment gateways, these are external service providers that can process electronic payments. Salesforce Billing uses those e-commerce API integrations to interface with these payment gateways. The platform, it also works with payment apps, the most popular of which, of course, is Chargent. And Chargent not only provides a connector for Salesforce billing to the 30 plus different gateways that we support, it also enables you to process payments directly from anywhere inside of Salesforce. With the click of a button, your staff can send payment links to customers to have them pay their invoice payments online. And they can manage their recurring payments inside of Salesforce. Question number four, can nonprofits use Salesforce to collect donations? Well, yes. Thousands of nonprofit organizations use Salesforce to collect donations and organize their constituents. Salesforce also provides these organizations with the ability to manage events, fundraising campaigns, and marketing initiatives, and to showcase their results in detailed reports and dashboards. Chargent enriches the Salesforce experience for nonprofit organizations. In addition to the Salesforce features, Chargent enables organizations to set up recurring donations and automatically send a notification to their donors when they miss an expected contribution. Question number five, what's the difference between Salesforce billing versus Salesforce billing department? Well, this is actually a pretty common mix up. If you search for Salesforce billing on Google, uh, you may not get the results that you were expecting because there's a big difference between Salesforce billing and the Salesforce billing department. Some terminology is pretty key here. If you want the Salesforce billing department, which is where of course you would make contact to ask questions about your Salesforce bill or make a payment towards your Salesforce account. Uh, and you could also of course talk to customer service. Whereas Salesforce billing, actually is the software product that automates invoices and serves many other functions to get you more control over your payments and how you bill your customers. In other words, if you wanna make a payment to Salesforce the company, look for the Salesforce billing department. And if you're seeking to collect payments from your own customers, then you wanna look for Salesforce CPQ billing. Question number six, can Salesforce process subscription and recurring payments? No, Salesforce's out-of-the-box solution doesn't allow businesses to collect and process repeat payments. However, the Salesforce billing application does include a subscription invoice product that sends invoices on a repeat schedule and payments can be scheduled on those. 
However, adding our service Chargent will enable you to add recurring payments to your process. And Chargent can automatically process scheduled payments and charge your clients on file payment method at a specified recurring frequency. Additionally, Chargent's automated collections feature can automatically retry charges and send emails to your customers asking them to complete an unsuccessful payment. Question number seven, does Salesforce integrate with PayPal? Well, yes, but only through an API or through a third party integration. So Chargent's Gateway Connector, for instance, allows you to integrate with Salesforce with 30 different integrations, including PayPal's PayFlow Pro Credit Card Gateway, as well as their Braintree Gateway, Authorize.net, Stripe, Cybersource, and a bunch of others. And the primary PayPal service that we all think about, it's called PayPal Express, where you can take money out of your bank or your credit card and make the payment. Payment app integrations like Chargent, we connect to PayPal's PayFlow Pro and Braintree, uh, which are kind of normal payment gateway services, and they just happen to be provided by PayPal. So in short, the service PayPal Express that we all know so well, it's actually fairly challenging to set up inside of Salesforce. Question number eight, how would you implement a payment gateway in Salesforce billing. Well, to accept payments, you need to install the Gateway's Salesforce billing integration package into your org. And Chargent makes this even easier by providing a connector to many popular gateways, which you can install into your org in a matter of minutes. In most cases, installing a payment gateway requires the assistance of a Salesforce developer. Chargent, however, makes this process simple and straightforward so that even an inexperienced Salesforce administrator can easily connect to their preferred payment gateway quickly. Question number nine, does Salesforce retry failed credit card payments? No, as an out of the box solution, Salesforce cannot retry failed credit card payments. To achieve this, you'll need to use a third party application. If you decide to use Chargent, we do offer automated collection, which will enable you to retry failed credit card payments on a defined schedule. And in addition, it notifies your customer of the failure, giving them the opportunity to update their payment information and resolve their payment status. Question number 10, how do you change payment methods in Salesforce? Well, through Chargent, you can accept a variety of payment methods from your customers, including credit card, debit card, bank transfers, and many others. Your organization can choose the types of payments they want to accept. Then your customers can select the payment method of their choice. Chargent makes this process even easier by sending out a payment request. So customers receive this email and it directs them to a secure link that's hosted on the Salesforce platform where they can make a payment and they can change their preferred method for future payments or they can just add new billing details. My name is Makaya and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. So I want you to head over to this video here. I'll meet you over there. And remember here at Chargent, we are always here to help.